bass resonator here. This weekend in the United States, I'm putting on my glove if you're hearing a weird noise. Okay, it is Memorial Day weekend and that is a patriotic holiday here in the United States. And so I got out my glitters from Glitter Makes It, red, white, and blue. And they have these little clay glitter things, American flags. So I am going to make a patriotic turtle and a patriotic frog. Now, because my hands are always in the way when I'm doing putting in the eyes, I've already put them in there, notice. The frog, the iris is going horizontal because it is an amphibian, and the turtle, if you can see in there, it is perpendicular because reptiles have um, perpendicular irises. So what I am going to do, don't know if anybody's done this yet, probably somebody has, but I haven't been online looking at resin stuff for a lot of time uh, is I'm gonna do a bloom a red white and blue bloom so I've got um, I bought some stuff from let's resin and they sent this little kit with resin dyes in them and I'm gonna try these hopefully they hopefully they react like alcohol inks that's my hope and then I'm gonna use uh, the bloom paste and I'm not gonna fill it all the way up I'm only gonna go about halfway on these and then um, and and then do the bloom with that now what I am doing is I'm opening this the Star Spangled Wow glitter and I have a little pot with a little bit of UV resin in and I thought I would show you what I'm gonna do there now what I have found oh, see there's already this glitter, when they come out of these type of bags, super, super, super um, staticky. I don't know if you can see it, but stuff is just flying. Now, what am I going to do with this? Well, the turtle's head. Ah! <laughs> Get in there. Goodness, that little star was hanging on that spoon. Um... I'll clean those up after a bit. I got little sparklies all over the place right now. Let me grab my... Oh, and there was one attached to my glove, and as I was reaching for this this tool, it went flying over there. Okay, so I've got... So I'm going to mix these up, and I'm not going to do it... I just want them not to hold any bubbles. That's my whole point. Um... And I'm going to put these down into the head of this turtle. Man, those. I guess if you're mixing this up in regular resin, you're okay, but this um, UV resin is particularly sticky. And super viscous okay let me see I don't see any air bubbles in there which is good so get the turtle I thought a couple ways of doing this but I want to get it to where you can see what's happening can you see can you see oh that's can you feel <laughs> Can you feel that? Well, you can't see it, and I can't either. So I'm pouring it into the head. Hopefully it's going. Okay, I did about as much as I can. Let me grab that little tool, because there's some stuck on these American flags that I've already put in place around the edge of this turtle's shell. Get in there. Okay, now I'm going to show you, set this down over here to the side, what I have done with this. I've already gone around the inside edge of the bottom of the shell, and I put American flags 
in place. <laughs> and then I'm going to have a bloom here. Okay, and on the frog, I'm just going to do a bloom because he doesn't, his head is easy to get into and stuff. This, the turtle's head is a little bit more difficult. And what I'm going to do, you know, I still got more of this. Maybe I should put that, on, yeah, I'll do that on the turtle's head. Okay, while this is going under the lamp, it is no ordinary lamp. Uh, that's from the, the movie Aladdin, if you couldn't tell. Um, while that is over there, getting ready to go under the lamp, I'm going to do, scrape these out as best I can, because there's still some UV resin here. No reason to waste UV resin or any other resin. Let me resonate with you. Don't waste. Okay, stay. Stay on the point. Stay on point. Now Labor Day isn't till Monday, but try and get these all taken care of ahead of time. Get in there. So the frog, I guess, and the turtle will match a little bit more than I anticipated because I wasn't planning on doing this to the turtle's head. But, I mean to the frog's head. But since I still have resin in here. Come on. Come on, people now. Now their eyes, you, I didn't show you them while I was putting them in because my hands get in the way. Um, the eyes are, the frog's eyes are blue and the turtle's eyes are kind of on the reddish side. So, I mean, it's, it's, they're really pretty, but I didn't want to put red eyes on there. That would look demonic or something. And I didn't want to do that. Okay, I'm going to clean those up. I'm going to push pause while I go to curing them up. Okay, they went under the lamp and I was able to use tape to pick up my glitter that went flying and I mixed up my resin and it's already starting to warm up I think 102 yep that's a good temperature I got some already poured out for the white and I mixed it up uh, let me grab this napkin Now I have another frog over here that I am, he does def definitely not um, um, patriotic colors, but he is a tiger frog or leopard frog. I can't remember what they're exactly what they're called, but they, um, He's got some spots, and I used black UV resin for those spots. And then for the color, I went with, um, and I'm going to save this to put in him. Um, for the color, I used um, uh, intense chameleon powders. Okay, now I do not know how this is going to react. I don't know if it's going to act like... Alcohol ink or not? I don't want it to just go. Come on now. I already put a hole in it. It's spreading a little bit. Let me get another one on there. 
and go over here. Now it's not the same as alcohol ink, even though it is spreading out right there, which is kind of cool looking. Now we'll try and go around the edge with this blue. And I'm not going to pipe per se. I'm going to just pour it out of a cup. I'm going to pinch the edge of the cup so that I can get um, a steady stream coming out because I didn't mix up. I didn't put a whole bunch of white in there. Now, that's not spreading out the same, but hopefully as it cures, it's going to pull back to the center. Hopefully this bloom paste will help pull it, especially when I draw in some petals. Oh, that was ugly. That's not going to be the best bloom. <laughs> well, you know, you live and die by the sword. Well, that's that's very fascinating. It almost looks like a skeleton. Ah, <laughs> oh. okay. Well, now to draw some petals in there. I don't know what's going to happen. Maybe this is why people don't haven't shown that they do blooms with this stuff. The colors hopefully will be there for Memorial Day. At least the glitter is there in place. Laugh with me. I want you to laugh with me. Not stay with me. Stay with me. Don't know if that's going to work or not. We will find out. Now, what I'm going to do is mix up with this other frog. I'll pour that white in on top of it. It doesn't really matter. But uh, that glove's got a little bit of yuck on it. Put some alcohol on there. Now, I have some emerald intense in, um, colors from counterculture but it, the last time I used this it had some little flaky things it doesn't really matter because the, the this frog well this frog is is has been dusted all the way so if there's little specks doesn't matter but I want it dark so I'm just gonna dump this in Ooh. Yeah, it's going to be dark. Now, if you want intense colors, I'm in really deep colors. I've got uh, this emerald, and I have a sapphire, and I have um, sangria. And they are really intense. Let's just put it that way. I don't know if, let me get over here so you can see it. It hasn't started mixing up all the way. Boy, this resin's getting warm. 
No, is that dark or what? You see, because I've got the intense chameleon powders, and you need to have a dark color resin behind it to really cause them to pop. So, and this is not going to fill the whole mold up, but um, at least I'll be able to get it going. Set this stick down over here to the side and show you what I'm doing. And his body has intense chameleon from the the original color packet green. And then the other I gotta set this down, I'm gonna lose control. The other is the dark green from the Intense Chameleon Blue packet. Now this, I didn't show it to you. I, should, I was getting concerned about the temperature of this resin, so I just went ahead with pouring. Um, this resin, I mean this mold, is not the tree frog mold. This is a Let's Resin mold and it is a bullfrog type mold where it's got the big old <laughs> tympanic membranes. Get that off of there. On the side of the head. Just trying to get that little bit of stuff to go into the toes. Um, so it, it's got regular frog feet, the ones that we're used to seeing. Um, the tree frogs have the little round suction-y cup toe ends. And that's the one the majority of people are using when they do frogs. I have not seen many people use this mold, but this to me is the type of frog the majority of people will see. Um, tree frogs don't usually hang around areas that are not uh, tropical. Okay, I'm going to let that sit. I'm going to pop some bubbles because I see a couple. And I have no idea if that's going to bloom or not. We will find out later. Have not decided what I'm going to do for the other color. Um, in on the underside of that, those frogs. I mean, the this frog and this turtle. Don't know if I'm going to go blue. Don't know if I'm going to go red, or if I'm just going to go clear, and do another bloom higher up I don't know I'll figure it out but I'll come back to you after it cures this frog over here is pretty much cured the toes still need to cure up but everything else is cured these are pretty much cured so I'm gonna put in some more resin and um, this time I'm gonna use alcohol ink red and sapphire blue by let's resin and again use the bloom See if I can get it going a little bit better. I'm not going to end up filling these all the way up because I'm using one-to-one um, -one art resin and I don't want to go too too deep and then have it flash cure on me. I did, during the break, um, color the toes of the frog. <laughs> I'm 
Okay, not quite all the way into that all the way into that tail of the turtle, so. Okay, here we go with red. I do not have much red left. I think I'm down to about the last drop. The last drop. Now that spreads. See that other was was resin dye, not alcohol ink. And alcohol ink really spread a lot better. Should have known better, but I hadn't tried any of those. And I wanted to see what they would do. Now I know. I think those would be really good if you mix it into the resin right from the start. Well, that red. <laughs> oh, there's a little bit more. It's just coming out really slowly. So let me see if I can get... Oh, there we go. Got some red going there. <laughs> now, see if I can pour a little bit better. A little bit better, not much. Go all the way out. from the legs coming in from the leg coming in head tail side Side. Swirl in the middle and go out and come back in the middle. That's the way I want to do it. Okay. Leg, 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 head, rear end. He doesn't have a tail. Not anymore. He did when he was a tadpole. Don't want to do any more? No, I'll just stop. I'll go from the middle. Out and then back in. Now that's definitely better blooming going on. Cool. Hopefully you saw all of that. Uh, let me reach over here. Grab a few bubbles right there in the middle where I was stirring things up. Oop, still a few more. Had to get a better angle on it. Still some more over here. 
I saw the big ones. Oh, I got the little ones too. Come on, stay up over there. I don't know if any of that will be able to be seen from the bottom or from the what ends up being the top. But you know what? If this doesn't work, I can always redo because I've got until Monday, right? I've got this shimmering getting the light shimmering alcohol ink lake blue brie reese i want to put one drop up in the head see what happens well, that was too Ooh. look at that isn't that pretty mmm Okay, I can't stop there. I'm going to go into the leg. Into the leg. Back here on this leg. Now, the problem I had with this the last time is that I was using a thinner resin and the shimmering part of this of this alcohol I was trying to get that lid back on of this alcohol ink sank all the way to the what ended up being the top of them the piece and it looked it was very pretty because it had that shininess but this can't drop very far except in the legs it can go but that's okay if they get shiny legs or shiny flippers up in the front. The back flippers didn't have any in there at this point. <laughs> Let's zoom in. I'm going to... Because I can. Whoa, going the wrong way. Let's go into the frog first. Whoa. Look at that action. That shimmer. Oh, come on now. Focus. Focus. The swirl in the middle. Look at that. And then over in the toes. <laughs> the shimmer on his... Wow. Okay. Enough fun with this. Oh, going the wrong way. Zoom back out. And we'll see you after a while. I'm back. Now these have hardened up, cured, so they're ready for their last coat. But I wanted to show you this frog that I had going on in that other mold. I wanted it to look like a leopard frog. The green and they got black spots. And this green looks purple in some lights and some angles. That's that intense chameleon. You go on another angle, it looks green. The body is the green intense chameleon. The legs are intense dark green intense chameleon. Look at the eye. Dun, dun, dun. Really cool. Okay, enough of that. Video is not about that frog, but I've uh, just wanted to show it to you because it's kind of cool. Okay, I mixed up another three and a half ounces of resin that should take care of both of these. And I mixed in a lot more of this glitter. So the blues are there with the blooms. Hopefully we've got some good blooms going on. Let me get this 
napkin ready just in case it starts trying to come back and get on me now I'm gonna stop right here and make sure it's going into this turtle's tail because this is notorious for catching air bubbles and you don't know it until you're unmolding and you're like oh man and it's not unfixable you can usually put a drop of UV resin in there but if you can prevent it by adding in a or using a silicone tool or a toothpick or of some sort um, you can prevent that altogether because there's no way with this big old hard piece of uh, silicone on the mold there's no way to squeeze it to get that out whereas on the head you can squeeze down like I'm doing here and it'll pop it'll bring a bubble out and I could pop it but can't do that on the tail area if nothing else this is definitely a patriotic turtle <laughs> with the colors told you the colors would be right don't know if the blooms happened won't know that until I get to unmold them See these front flippers, um, I got to be really careful on how much I put in there because this mold, when it was brand new, was fine. Um, but now that it's gotten used it a few times, the front flippers and the mold sag and I don't want to lose any over the edge. But I also want to make sure the back flippers have enough to make it look right okay now to the frog oh, I gotta go get my hand around get up to the toes because I, I put um, UV resin so I gotta get this epoxy resin all the way up into the toes area so that they'll come out as one piece Oy. Oy. that's up into the toes I want to hear a frog joke when you're pouring resin into a frog mold got to make sure it gets into the toes don't forget I told you so <laughs> oh that was bad Mr. Watkins and if you're a sheep it was bad okay can I go any more over here Just very little bit left resin. I'll find a little mold around here I can put that in. No bubbles allowed in that tail. You hear me? You hears me? Yes. Yes, master. I hear you. 
Yes, Igor. Okay, so I will come back later for the unmolding. Dun da da. Back and everything's cured up. And just want to show you before I unveil these. I don't know if the, the, the bloom happened or not, but at least on the bottom side, they are definitely patriotic. I had enough resin left over to make this little guy, patriotic mini. And then from that earlier, you saw the leopard frog. We can call him a commando bullfrog, uh, since we're trying to stay memorial. Um, and then I made, and, and these are still very bendy, so I'm having them still in a thing, in a cup to, to shape them. I made two bowls with leftover small bowls using the same colors as I did in the, um, the, the, the frog and the turtle. Okay, let's go frog first. I, I, I'm holding my breath, um, hoping it worked. But in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, oh no, something's probably gone wrong. And I pray I'm, I'm not right. Anyone ever told you these are kind of difficult to get out? <laughs> Gotta get them loosened on every side. And this is a giant tree frog mold. Oh, come on now. Uh, tree frog because it's got the little suction cuppy feet. Suction cuppy? Yes, that is a word. If you haven't heard it before, well, you can say that you have now. So don't lie and say, I've never heard that before as you just did. Okay, so far, so good. Nothing's breaking off with toes or anything. And the UV resin is sticking on with the regular epoxy resin. If one does break off, you can always UV resin it back in place. I didn't tell you. <laughs> I was majoring in uh, life sciences uh, biology for the purpose of going into pre-med. Um, and then I saw the cadaver and I'm like, no, I'm out of here. But when I was still just in my first year or so, <laughs> I found out some college professors have no sense of humor at all. I was at Fort Hayes State University in Kansas. I was on the football team, and I was thinking I was all that, you know, big and tough. I got a little bit of overflow on that toe. Um, okay, that came out. And um, I was having to do a comparison contrast paper for my um, English course. Cut that out in just a little bit and I compared and they said use your major area to do your comparison contrast and so <laughs> I compared and contrasted toads and frogs and my concluding statement is why toads have teeth and frogs don't I haven't the froggiest idea I got an F just because of that everything else was fine but no it took me the rest of the semester to get that up to an A wow oh my Look at that. <laughs> that is really cool looking. I got some, I got to trim his toenails. I will take that out in the sun in just a bit. Man, that looks cool. I'm hoping the same can be said for the turtle. If 
first. Is there a bubble? Yeah, a little tiny bubble on the tail. Ah, I could fill that with a little bit of glitter and actually I wouldn't even have to do anything because the glitter is already there. Armpit one out. Or not armpit, flipper pit. <laughs> flipper pit. <laughs> Making up words as we go. see this well that you know it's very similar it's a cool effect it's like a cloud and those American flags all around look at the eyes I need more light just a second let me push on pause I'm back from outer space look at the eye now It's a glittery that goes along with the um, patriotic theme because he's got red eyes and this frog has blue eyes. Oh, blue eyes. I wonder if he can sing. Ribbit. And then this little frog got some really fancy colored eyes too. Anyway. Patriotic Critters, and then some. Yay! Thank you to my subscribers. You guys took me over a thousand, and my wife says we're going to get to celebrate by going to Dairy Queen. <laughs> and get a blizzard. Now, the crazy thing about Dairy Queens and blizzards, I hope you have Dairy Queens in other countries, uh, and so you know what I'm talking about, but the blizzard dessert at Dairy Queen was developed in 1985 and that's the year my wife and I got married so we have to celebrate and we're gonna celebrate with blizzards okay I'm gonna go out and get some stills of these they're so cool thank you to my subscribers and if you want to support help support me um, consider buying me a coffee if you look in the description on the bottom of this um, video you'll see the link for that thank you so much have a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. I don't know how many videos I'm going to put out this weekend. Uh, not that I'm going to celebrate or anything, but I've got family plans and stuff. So, yep. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Look at these patriotic critters in the sun. Man, the wind is blowing hard. The commando frog. The little bull. Look at those. It's an interesting bloom, and it did the same type of effect on both of them. I think it's because of the, the deep mold. But it looks really, really cool. Yep. Happy Memorial Day. Look at that wind blowing that bowl. Wow.